It's a big day, honey. Huge day. So I'm just unloading the last of the rebar that George went out picked up this morning. Today, we are installing a wind turbine. We're starting off digging the footer. We're gonna go just under a meter down into the ground to pour a concrete base for the wind turbine. Kaka, you wanna make a wager? What is that? Like a bet? Yes. I bet you one ginger ale uh -huh. and one pizza. And we'll even put an almond Snickers in there that it doesn't rain today. No, that is... And if I lose? Then you have to buy me organic meatballs. Organic meatballs. They're 10 where, where? That's about the same. Okay. <laughs> no, I checked, I checked the weather by looking at the direction of the wind. You can kind of start to, just by the feel of the direction of the wind and how strong it is and by looking out at the clouds, even by just like feeling how humid it is, can tell you a ton. Get some food and some wine. We're starting to get to the point where we almost have too many eggs. Kaylee and I can't eat eggs every single day. <laughs> Look at Lola and her new boyfriend, Brian. They're so sweet, she loves them. I just wanna show you guys the wind turbine that we're gonna be installing today. We've been keeping it right over here underneath the tarp. You can see all the rain's been kind of taking its toll on this box, but these are all the parts nonetheless. But this is actually a wind turbine that was gifted to us by Juan at Renova Wind. Juan saw our channel and liked what we were doing and wanted to support us, so he sent us this wind turbine. So we appreciate the help so much, and if any of you guys are looking for a wind turbine, we'll put the Instagram and the website of Renova Wind down in the description. Silly butt. Because I was uh, about to be eaten. <laughs> Brian's still getting used to having a cat around, and Brian just uh, chased Roger up a tree, and Roger's a little scared. Can you see him a little bit there? Oh, he's so high up. Honey, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, Raj. You got it. Oh. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> this is the first official morning with us having our solar system set up down here. So you can see this panels down here, right there. And you can see they're getting full sun right now. They've been getting full sun for about three hours. And then look at the bus. See how it's still in shadow? See how these trees are blocking out the sun and it's not getting anything? That's such a big upgrade for us. George is going ahead over here and he's cutting a couple little pieces of rebar um, that we're going to weld on this metal plate right here and we're actually going to make a little contraption to be able to bend the rebar because we don't have anything to do that. Okay. <laughs> So we have our little rebar bending workstation over here. If you guys notice, we brought in a little bit of help today. Kaylee and I have learned everything from trial and error, and we've messed up a ton of stuff, and then fixed it, and then messed it up, and fixed it, and then kind of learned how to do stuff. But this is something we don't want to mess up. This is too important, so we brought in a guy who's really good at working with cement because we really don't know what we're doing with cement. Big gusta? Está bien. So he says that it's Bajareque, but I don't know why it sounds like rain, looks like rain. We said when it rains. We, we, we said this in the video. We said not Bajareque. We said when it rains. We yes. know that Bajareque comes It's from. not Bajareque, it's rain. No, go. man. No, 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 no. Ba lluvia. Pull, 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 pull la camera. No, lluvia 
comes Lluvia from anywhere, you know, from this north. Is this the Bajareque or Lluvia? What's wrong with you guys? This is rain! <laughs> this is rain! This is rain! This is 100% so, rain! This is Look! I'm pretty sure those guys have the cement under control. Mm -hmm. That's a two man job, Iberto and Rohair, which is Spanish for Roger, mm -hmm. who's the guy that, uh, that we fired. Are, are working on the cement now, so while they do that, we're gonna work on the trim. And you may be noticing we don't have the generator on. And this still and this. works. I hope. <laughs> Okay, you feel like slimes? Yeah, I definitely think that he... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So we're just filling in the footer right now. So what we have is we have a base, which is one and a quarter meters by one and a quarter meters, and it's a foot deep, and that's what the big square rebar you see down there, and then there's gonna be a column in the middle, and that column is what the base of the wind turbine's gonna sit on. We haven't seen this in a while, huh, honey? One of the reasons why we wanted to move here, or that, especially Kaylee, she does not do well with the heat whatsoever. I don't know what it is, like, I'm, I don't know if I'm just like a sensitive little flower or what. But anytime it's way too hot out, or even just a little hot out, I'm just like, no, no, no. So we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that right now. Hold on, hold on, just give me a minute. A minute for what? Okay, I surrender. Oh, it's warm. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna admit defeat, Kake? It hasn't rained. Well, it looks like it's gonna rain. I don't care about meatballs, I care about wings. You, you care about pizza? Yeah, <laughs> well, really. <laughs> As you guys know, we love our animals very much, a lot. We feed Lola her own cooked food, we just started feeding Roger his own cooked food, and now we're starting to make the chicky food. I mean, we've been having such a hard time feeding them the chicken feed because we know there's yeah. a bunch of junk in it. Yeah. And now that we're starting to eat the eggs too, especially, right? we just didn't want to do anything to... We wanted to make sure we were giving them proper nutrition, you know? Now that we have our corn going, how sick would it be one day to feed them the corn? that we grow yeah. and then they fertilized and then they eat and then they create fertilizer for oh and eggs. Oh my god, that would be the perfect circle of life right there. Chickies! Come on! Come on! We got two of them. Still waiting on the other two down there. Oh, here they come. Come on! Come on, honey! Come on! 
you guys excited? Seems like they're really loving it. Um, but this will probably last us, I'm guessing, I would say at least a week and a half, maybe. Um, that's including supplementing them with kitchen scraps and obviously all the free ranging that they do and all the bugs that they eat. This makes me very happy. We're cleaning out our cabinet for them. We got black beans, we got lentils, we got the bonzos. Hemp hearts. Hemp hearts are quinoa. already in here. Quinoa. This is perfect. And it also is... makes me very happy because we're cleaning out our pantry. That, yeah, it's a, it's a double one. Some of this stuff has been there since the States. I know. Wow. Okay, you guys gotta take a look at this. Something we haven't shown you in a little while, because it's usually cloudy, but something that comes out with the north wind is the stars. And I can see, sorry, I'm a silhouette right now. I can see more stars than I've ever seen in my life right now. This is a really, really exciting moment, a really exciting morning. So, you want to tell them or you want me to tell them? <laughs> oh, you have stuff in your mouth. What's in there? Coconut oil? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So Rodrigo has been asking us to get a Nintendo Switch for everyone so we can all play together. So when we take lunch breaks or when we have a dispute, if we need to settle something, we can settle, settle it over a game of Mario Kart. So look at what just came in the mail with Mario Kart. We, we've been talking about this for months. And I told them once we finish the powerhouse, we'll get one. Well, we finished the powerhouse, so we got one. And we're about to surprise him with it. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, did it rain yesterday? No. But a good loser has to do it. Is buy $10 meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be all of our lunch today. <laughs> yeah. Ah, nice. Should we make him close our eyes? Close our eyes. Okay. <laughs> No, both of you. Both, both of you close yeah. your eyes and put your hand like here. All right, keep them closed. Keep them closed. Okay. Ready, set, open. Look. I promise they're not mad at each other. They're just playing video games. Uh, I think it's fair to say we all got our little fix of Mario Kart. It's time to get to work now. So this here is something uh, that we actually just made with some plywood hanging around, um, which is just a corner molding made out of wood. So we just cut it to size, glued them together, nailed, nailed them together, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it black. And by the way, you guys, this corner molding specifically, the one with the wood, is for the powerhouse. We have the metal ones for the outside of the structure, and we're using the wooden ones to go with the um, Shosugiban wood for the powerhouse and the bathroom. Well, we're all done with the base for the wind turbine for the day. Look how professional this looks. These guys are serious with their cement work. 
Now we just need a half inch steel plate for the base. So you can see these little pieces of rebar here sticking up. And what we're gonna do is drill holes and put a half inch piece of sheet metal on top of there. And that's got what we're gonna attach the wind turbine to. So as you guys know, the bottom of our land is where Rodrigo is gonna be building his house. So in the meantime, he's been coming up here on the, woo, he's been coming up here on the weekends and having fun, just kind of clearing the land out. And he's actually building like a little temporary tree house right now. So we're gonna take a little break and go check out what progress he's got going on. I would love to spend more time down here than I have been, but there's two things. Number one, we've just been so busy with the workshop, working on trying to get ourselves moved in there. And number two, hi, good girl. And number two, every time I come back here into the jungle, I get a rash. And I even got to the point, if you guys saw it a couple months ago, I had to go and get a shot because my rash was so bad. Dude, you made a ton of progress. Dude. It looks like someone's yeah. actually living, living back like here little, now. Yeah. Look at your floor, bro. He has his own little kitchen area. Are you cooking? I already cooked. What did you make? Wow. Wow, bro. Wow. wow. Dude, this is, this is sick. legit. Dude, you built a, you actually built a treehouse. Look at that ladder you built. You actually did it, bro. Such a sick spot. There's his little tent. He pulled, pulled it out of the jungle so he could see the stars last night. And if you guys missed it, we gave Rodrigo that piece of land maybe like three or four months ago. And he's gonna build an A-frame house there. So right now he's just building his little temporary house which is kind of cool. It's an A-frame tree house. on the welding I've just been working on the trim pieces this is going to go on the outside of the powerhouse but I'm not going to be able to finish it today this is still super super wet we have been letting it dry for a couple of hours but because it's so humid here and because everything's so wet it takes a really long time for everything to dry so these trim pieces will be for another day Looks so good. Oh. it's crazy you guys how much better it looks once you just put couple pieces of trim on. It really does. It's just like all ties those it all together. All the kind of like janky edges yeah. all get covered up. And then we still need to touch up the paint obviously. The white paint gets really dirty especially while we're still doing construction around. So that's going to be kind of like the last touch little thing that we do. Yeah and we have to do, we're talking about doing show Siggy Bond shutters and then black trim and then you guys wanted a red door so probably a red door. <laughs> or maybe. I know I told you guys that I wasn't going to do a red door but I've been thinking about it and I might be reconsidering the idea. We'll see. So this is where we're gonna let you guys go. Back onto the wind turbine on the next video. We should hopefully have it all installed by then. And it's super, super exciting. Pumped. Yeah, so. super exciting. So we love you guys so incredibly much. We love all your support and your messages and your emails. We appreciate every single one of you guys. And we hope you guys have an amazing day today. See you guys next time.